What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, back again with another quick iOS 9 video. This time we're taking a look at the second beta and some of the changes it brings from the first beta. So one of the biggest changes is the reappearance of Handoff. So Handoff had previously been eliminated completely from the first beta, so now it returns here and is available from the launcher. Now just to show you how this works, right now I'm looking at the Notes app on my iPhone 6, so it appears as a Handoff on my iPad Air. Now if I go to another app that supports it, so for example if I go to like let's say the Maps app, you can see it will now launch the Maps app here. So it changes to the Maps app and I can continue where I last left off. They've also made some changes to the keyboard, at least when you're within the Notes app. Now this is contextual, so it depends on what the app can do with the keyboard. So for example, instead of cut, copy, and paste as we had with the first beta, we now have undo. Now undo includes redo or paste. You also have your checklist options here, so you can quickly toggle on a checklist item if you want. And then we have our rich text editing options quickly available from the keyboard. Now if you want to get back to your cut, copy, and paste options, just select a word here. You now have these options right here, so you have cut, copy or paste if you want. So if you want to cut this, you can also paste it like so. The search app has also been enhanced here. It's now much quicker and delivers more results. So for example, if I type in link in here, you can see it delivers results really quickly across the entire platform. So I get my top search hits, which includes notes I've taken within the notes app, some contacts, Bing search. I also have a Wikipedia article, news items, calendar events, mail, music, and I can search the web, search the app store or search for maps. Now, speaking of search, we get some additional options under settings for search. So we have general, if we go to search, you can now toggle off certain apps so they're not visible to search. Uh, this used to be limited, at least in the first beta, to Apple apps. Now, while we're in settings, there's another tweak under iCloud settings. Uh, so we now have the option to toggle on news. So basically, this will sync the news app across devices. So you can imagine news content you edit or change on one device will sync across multiple devices if you want with your iCloud account. But unfortunately, right now, the news app has not yet launched on the betas. Another feature discovered with the second beta but was originally available on the first beta is the automatic app deletion and reinstall. So if you're running out of space on your phone in order to install the latest software update, you'll actually get the option to temporarily delete apps to make some room for the download. And once the software update has been installed, it'll automatically restore the apps. We also get some other smaller changes. So for example, the podcast icon has changed. It's a little more bold or simpler looking. The Apple Watch app is now just simply called Watch. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick look at some of the new changes in the second beta of iOS 9. And as more betas come out, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.